61A lecture number 16, announcements. Homework 5 is due today, Wednesday the 7th. If you need some help, there will be homework party this evening. Now, remember that homework is graded on effort. If you don't get the answer to every question, it's okay. You can still get full credit, but make sure you make progress on every question. And if you don't get the answer, make sure you look at the solutions that will be released tonight so that you can understand how to solve the problems in the future. To give you a chance to look at those solutions and to go to discussion this week, I've extended the timeline for Quiz 2. It will now be released on Friday and due on Monday. I expect it to be quite short so that you can focus on your project, which is quite long. The ANTS project was released yesterday. It's due a week from Friday, but you should try to get it done earlier in the week. You'll get two bonus points for early submission if you finish by Wednesday evening, or one bonus point for finishing by Thursday. So start early, and you'll get it done. It is one of the largest projects in this course, and the largest one you've seen so far. What is it, anyway? Well, I used to play a game called Plants vs. Zombies, and I thought it was fun. Check it out. We built a variant for this class called Ants vs. Some Bees. And in this game, you're controlling an ant colony, trying to defend it from invading bees. This project is old, but the graphics that we're supplying are new. We have this beautiful splash screen now, and the characters in the game are illustrated by former students of 61A. Let's take a look at what you create when you finish your project. The premise of the game is that you want to stop these bees from flying to the end of a tunnel by placing ants in their path. Here, a wall ant will block the progress of those bees for some time, giving me a chance to ramble. Now, there's all these different kinds of ants, there's only one kind of bee, and here we have two bees that are charging toward the end of the tunnel. Instead of just blocking them, I could also stun them, which means they just move more slowly. So you can see on some turns, a stunned bee is not going to move at all. Now eventually we might want to stop the bees entirely. This ant here is called a fire ant. When a bee stings it, it explodes, but it takes the bees down with it. So in this case, we've defeated the bees. Now throughout this demonstration, I was using up food in my colony. I have harvester ants to gain more food, which is an important strategic element of the game. I'll let you play it for yourself to see how it works. And the last announcement is that midterm two is coming up. Not this Thursday or the following Thursday, but the Thursday after that.